Okay, I want to talk about ellipsis. Now the ellipsis is, I'm sure you've seen this in print, whenever you have those three dots at the end, there's actually a single character with the three dots combined. This is three periods, one after another, but the ellipsis has three dots all together, one character, less space in between them. That's the ellipsis. So we can add that to the end of text and we can actually have the browser cut things off. Uh, it's with the text overflow property that we can do this. So what I have here are three paragraphs and then I'm using the uh, pseudo element before to inject a little read more thing that you can then click on to uh, uh, follow the story, learn more about whatever this is. So I want to add an ellipsis here, but what I want to do is I want to have the text dynamically cut off at this point. So in my paragraphs, I added a bunch of padding here. So there's an empty space. And then in that padding, that's where I'm putting in this element. So I want to cut it off at this point. I want to put as much text as I can fit inside of here and then have the browser cut it off and put three dots there, the ellipsis. Okay. So text overflow, that's the first property here. So you can see text overflow has three possible properties. There's clip, ellipsis and inherit. So let's start with clip. We'll talk about that just for a moment. Now you'll notice it does absolutely nothing here. Well, that's because if you use text overflow and you want this to work with clip or ellipsis, you have to also include these two properties, white space, no wrap. So that tells the browser it's not allowed to wrap the text onto the next line. Okay, great. So we can do that. No wrap. There it is. Now it's spilling out. So it's staying on one line because it's not allowed to wrap. Fair enough, but it doesn't quite give us the same effect that we want. So we have to say what it's supposed to do when it reaches the edge, because by default, it wants to display all the text that you've given it. Now we've got this big scroll bar because lots of text. I don't want it to do that. I want to handle the overflow and well, I don't want to put a scroll bar. I don't want to leave it visible. I want it hidden. So there we are. Now the text will be cut off when we get to the edge of the padding. So here's that padding area. Then if we go to ellipsis, that's where it cuts it off before the padding. And that is where it will inject the actual ellipsis character. And that's it. That's CSS ellipsis. So it's a combination of these three properties. If all you're looking to do is cut it off, you can do text overflow clip combined with white space, no wrap and overflow hidden. Or if you do want the ellipsis and you want it contained to the content area, then you can set it to ellipsis. It will cut it off at the content area and then add the three dots. All right. Hope you found that useful. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.